was his name. As a boy, he always knew a sailor he would be, so he studied the law of the sea. Captain of his crew, a brave, ambitious man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sun and sky, and his heart would be his guide, a man of valor and pride. The king and queen, their blessings he obtained to carry the flag of Spain. And rain, a strong, courageous man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sails raised high, he searched the great unknown, his quest for adventure, dispelling any fear. A sure, courageous man, Columbus it was he, who sailed to new horizons across the great blue. direction. Thank you. Oh, I did, and you should have seen it. Oh. Huh? Oh. Let me help you out. Stop right there! Stop, I said! Come back here! What's wrong? Stand back, you! That woman's a criminal! What? Is that true? No, it's a lie! I'm innocent! But she says she's innocent. You wear the knotted belt of the Franciscans, but you're still a meddler. Now stand back and let me put this young woman under arrest, or I'll make short work of you, even if you are a Franciscan. Sorry, senor, but I have no choice. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Huh? Come back here! Stop! I'm warning you! <clears throat> you shouldn't have interfered. Uh, what's going on? If the woman escapes, you'll pay. But I haven't done anything. She disappeared up a narrow alleyway. We'd have caught her if you hadn't stopped us. Who are you, anyway? Does anyone here know this man? No. Never seen him. Where are you from? What's your religion? Well, I'm a Genoese and a Christian. I knew he was a foreigner. He looks it. We'll have the truth out of you. I arrest you in the name of the Inquisition. <clears throat> what? Arrest me, but I'm an innocent man. Look the a confession out of him. I can prove who I am. I have a Make letter. The heretic <clears throat> confess. Let me go, I tell you. <clears throat> you have no right. <clears throat> Now, are you going to come oh. quietly? Oh, or am I going to finish you off right here? No, I... You're only making it worse for yourself by struggling. Oh. Huh? Oh. What's what? this? Let me go! Oh. Hmm. Hey, what's your name? Columbus! Christopher Columbus! Look, I have a letter of introduction from Father Perez, a monk at the Franciscan Monastery of La Rabida. I seek an audience with Enrique de Guzman, Duke of Medina Sidonia. Hmm. Oh. We'd better let him go. <sighs> well, Senor Columbus, if that's your name, I have some advice for you. Don't get in the way of the Inquisition. <clears throat> <clears throat> huh? It's her. Hey, hold on there. I need to talk to you. I mean you no harm. What do you want? Did a young woman come by here? Perhaps. Why do you want to know? I have something of hers that I want to return to her. Is that a fact? Hmm. Here it is. Hmm. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? You're wearing a Franciscan belt, but you're no monk. So why are you here? My name is Christopher Columbus, and I've come here hoping to meet the Duke. <laughs> why do you want to see him? I have come to discuss a matter of great importance. 
Here is my letter of introduction. Hmm. I think the Duke will want to see you. Follow me! Wait. Could you see to it that the young woman gets this? Mm-hmm. His Excellency will see you now. He will join you shortly, Signor. Huh? You may rise, Signor Columbus. Your Excellency. <gasps> <laughs> yes, I am the Duke of Medina Sidonia. I read your letter of introduction, and any friend of Father Perez is a friend of mine. Now then, let's raise a cup to the good health of our friends at La Rabida. <laughs> <sighs> Father Perez likes you very much. His letter praises you most highly and claims that you have a plan. A plan that could yield great glory for Spain and for me. That's right. But before we discuss it, may I ask who the young woman was I saw earlier? I'll be glad to tell you. Her name is Ruth. She's a servant here. Why were those soldiers chasing her? Because she's Jewish. <gasps> hmm. If they'd captured her, she'd have been punished for practicing her faith. She was lucky to escape. Yes. And I hear that you helped her, at great risk to your own safety. It was nothing. You call that nothing? <laughs> You're a modest man. Such modesty combined with bravery calls for a toast. Come, let us drink. To valor in the face of oppression. <laughs> now then, tell me, do you truly have a plan that could bring great glory to Spain? Yes, I have. I want to open a direct trade route to the Indies by sailing westward. Across the Atlantic? Yes, that's right. Hmm. <laughs> what a notion. To reach the Indies by sea without an overland connection. Please, go on. Uh, I've brought a chart to illustrate my plan. Oh. Well, what's the matter? Nothing. It's just that... I understand. This is a secret. And you're not sure whether I'll keep it. That's fair enough. But you'll have to trust me if you want me to help you. No, Your Excellency, it's not that I don't trust you. Rather, I'm remembering the years of struggle and disappointment I've endured up till now. Mm -hmm. Take heart, your luck may be about to change. Indeed, I'm ready to believe in you. But I won't unless you still believe in yourself. Do you, Senior Columbus? Mm -hmm. Good, come, I'll show you around. Those men are training for the upcoming Spanish campaign against the Moors. I'll fight in that campaign, senor. And as a man of wealth, I'm expected to raise my own fighting force for the conflict. I'm confident that Spain will emerge victorious. The Moors will finally be driven from this land. But the cost is enormous. The nation has exhausted its wealth fighting two long and costly wars. The Moors are weary and on the verge of defeat. As for the Portuguese, we had to buy peace from them. What do you mean? We gave up our claims to rich trade routes under the Treaty of Alcasovas. Ah, yes, that's the treaty that reserves all African trade routes exclusively for Portugal. <laughs> Yes, that's what it does, in theory. In practice, it's just another inconvenience. The ships of my fleet continue to trade with Africa. But... I know it's illegal, but what choice have I? For that matter, what choice has all of Spain? The African trade routes are hugely profitable. Without them, the country will go bankrupt. Unless we find an alternative. I can find that alternative. What? You mean this westward route of yours? It is a tempting idea, I'll grant you that. A direct trading link with the Indies would solve all Spain's difficulties. But can you truly find such a route? Yes, I can. And that's my plan, Your Excellency. Do you have any questions? 
How long would the crossing be? About 40 days. That's based on my estimate that the distance from Europe to the eastern shore of Asia is 2,400 miles. Mm -hmm. Hey, Umberto! <laughs> Tell Rodrigo I want to see him. Right away, my lord. I hope you don't mind. I've called for my advisor. He's a wise and cautious man. You wish to see me, my lord? I did, Rodrigo. This is Senor Columbus. I'd like you to hear his plan. Your plan, senor? Yes, it's a proposal for a sailing expedition. One last question. How many ships would you want? Three. Two caravels and a flagship. Three ships with crews and provisions for a year. This could be an expensive project. But the potential profit would justify the expense. Yes, that's right. However, hmm? I have one serious reservation about the plan, Your Excellency. Indeed. What's that? The King and Queen of Spain have not consented to it. <clears throat> Their Majesties are already displeased with you for defying the Treaty of Alcasovas and sending ships to Africa. It would not be wise to invite further displeasure by sponsoring this voyage without their permission. Mm. Permission? <laughs> I am a duke. Shall I be made to bow and scrape for permission? No! Rodrigo, contact my fleet. I'm sponsoring the plan without royal consent. No, my lord. I refuse to carry out an order that would only harm you. Your Excellency, Hmm? The last thing I want is for my plan to become a source of trouble between you and the king and queen. Please, take Rodrigo's advice and seek royal consent for the project. This may delay your voyage. <laughs> That's all right. I'm used to waiting. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it. Rodrigo, send a messenger to the royal court. Let them know I'm coming. My lord. Believe me, I'll do all I can for you. Thanks. Halt! In the name of the King and Queen! State your business! I'm here to inform their majesties that the Duke of Medina Sidonia will be here shortly. Excellency. The king and queen refuse the consent. They what? I'm sorry. I should have known better than to try and present the plan myself. I was not as tactful as I might have been. Rather than ask politely, I demanded permission for the project. Their majesties were angered and refused. Instead, they gave me marching orders. I lead my troops into the campaign this very day. But what about my plan? I can't do anything more for you, my friend. <sighs> but you mustn't give up hope, Senor Columbus. Your plan is an excellent one. It deserves to be sponsored. And I just thought of a man who might be willing to sponsor it. Who's that? Luis de la Cerda, Duke of Medina Celli. Who? He's a man of infinite tact. <laughs> He'll know how to secure royal consent. Really? Yes. I don't know why I didn't think of him sooner. He's an ideal sponsor for your plan. He owns a shipyard and an extensive fleet based in Cadiz. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Thank you, Your Excellency. You're most welcome. Father Perez was right. You're an exceptional man, Senor Columbus. And I have no doubt your project will soon become a reality. The Duke of Medina Celli will help you. I shall seek him in Cadiz. He sounds like a man of great wisdom. He is. Wiser than me, anyway. <laughs> Men of Medina Sidonia! <laughs> Will we defeat the infidel? Yes! Yeah! Farewell, <laughs> Senor Columbus.
We're there. Come on, old girl. Cadiz lies dead ahead. <laughs> Duke of Medina Celli, his house is near the market square. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> he fell in the puddle. <laughs> I have peppers, cinnamon, thyme, sweet basil, and sage. Spices of all kinds. Oranges, who buy my sweet ripe oranges? No, senor, the Duke is not here. He left Cadiz last week and traveled to his residence in Seville. He'll be there two months. Seville, you say? I see. Thanks very much. <laughs> you worked hard, old girl. You've earned a good night's rest. Heavenly Father, I have reached Seville. Look kindly upon my efforts here. Medicines! I have medicines to cure every ailment known to man. Mineral salts, special herbs, and curative essences. Buy your medicines here! Punish the heretics! Show them no mercy! Walk to the market square! The Inquisition has condemned them! There are enemies! Here they come now! Heretics! Infidels! Dogs! Teach them a lesson! Punish them in the name of Christianity! Heretics! Traitors! Enemies of the Holy Church! Look, there they are! Demons, you'll pay for your crimes! <sighs> Traitors! Punish them! Punish them! No mercy for the enemies of the church! Demons! Monsters! Heretics! Defilers of the true faith! We won't rest till we purge this land of every last one of you! Take them to the pyres! This is the true face of the Inquisition. In the name of our merciful Lord, innocent souls are rounded up, tormented, and punished without mercy. So, the Duke of Medina Sidonia said I had the wisdom and tact to secure royal consent for your plan, is that right? Mm-hmm. I must say, I'm flattered. <laughs> then I'll have to succeed, if only to keep up the good name of Medina Celli. Though I must say, with such an excellent plan, obtaining permission should be easy. Huh? Do you really think so? Yes, I do. Unlike the Duke of Medina Sidonia, I have respected the Treaty of Alcasobas. My ships no longer trade with Africa. This is one of the reasons I'm prepared to sponsor your project. My fleet needs a new trade route. And I can find that route. Hmm. Yes, Senor Columbus, I believe you can. I would benefit from your success, of course, but more importantly, the sovereign wealth of Spain would be restored. <laughs> Indeed, why think only of Spain? I have no doubt that all of Europe's powers would stand to gain from a direct and secure trade route to the Indies. Yes, that's true. Every land would benefit from greater trade with Asia. Sponsoring my plan would be a small investment compared to the wealth this route would bring. <laughs> Senor Columbus, I'll do everything I can to obtain royal permission to go ahead with your plan. Oh, thank you, Your Excellency. <laughs> but how will you succeed where the Duke of Medina Sidonia failed? You've met the Duke, you know what kind of man he is. He was too proud to be respectful, so the King and Queen refused their consent. I won't make that mistake. I'll be respectful. You can trust me, Senor Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send a letter to Queen Isabella today. She trusts my judgment. I'll write that I believe in your plan. While we wait for an answer, you can be my guest here. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome, my friend.
Good news, Senor Columbus. You've been granted an audience with the Queen. What? Who? With Queen Isabella. The royal court is in Cordova. You're to go there immediately to present your plan. This is wonderful. <laughs> yes, this is excellent news, but you still have a great deal of work ahead of you. You must win the Queen's support. Can you do it, Senor Columbus? Yes. Oh, after years of disappointment, I've been given another chance to make my dream a reality. And I know you'll succeed. If I do, it will be because of you. How can I ever thank you? Find a new trade route to the Indies. That's all the thanks I need.